My name is Traps, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. <laughs> oh, man. God, my character is so kitted out. It's been like a week since I played... Hang on, let's see if I can get the camera to focus on the spear rather than my character. Damn it, the spear's still fuzzy. Okay. Yeah, it's been like a week since I last played at all. Um, but I just... I, like, I have enough episodes to cover me through like the next month. I don't need to be playing this right now. This is just behind the scenes information, just for anyone who cares. But I'm so fucking addicted to this game. God. I have that with so many of the games that I play because I guess I only play the games that I love. So I guess that's kind of why that happens. All right. Santia Spear can be buffed. That is still amazing to me. You upgrade it with Twinkling Titanite, but it can be buffed. Was that someone walking over there? No, it was a shadow. Okay, so where am I off to next? Um, Dragon Eerie, right? Or am I not at Dragon Eerie yet? <laughs> I've forgotten. My apologies. Uh, no, I think I was just polishing off things that needed to be done in these areas. Now, I have got the King's Ring. I know that. Ooh. Oh, no, I know exactly where I need to go for here. I can get the final, uh, the final bonfire in this area. The only reason I'm getting it is just so that I can teleport to it later, more easily. Like, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, but it's not going to take that much of my time, and it will kind of complete all of the bonfires in that area. So, I'm fine with that. Stab. Uh, that's hardly a stab, but it's very effective. Okay, hang on. Uh, we need to equip... The King's Ring... Someone's following me, by the way, so I'm about to get hit. Okay. I think the King's Ring also slightly increases curse resistance. Like, it actually has a usefulness outside of being the thing that opens these doors. So, you might have noticed previously that this door was saying, uh, produce the symbol of the King. And at the moment, since I'm wearing the King's Ring, it's opening instead. Oh, baby! So, the, uh, the bridging path in Shaded Woods that has one of those doors is the one that I need to go down so that I can get to... Well, no, it's not the Dragon Eerie first, it's the, uh... It's Aldia's Keep and then the Dragon Eerie. Yes, that's right. Okay. So this is somewhere where I want to come later because I will... You can see there's, like, the particle effects directly above my head glintering outside of this guy. There's many of these around the whole game. Like, there was one, you might have noticed, when we picked up the King's Ring from Vendrick's body, there was the same particle effects above it. Those particle effects were also used to donate, uh, sorry, denote the enemies in Shrine of the Mana, but that's not important. Um, these static objects can be examined, nothing happens. However, when I have a certain item and I examine them, something will happen instead of nothing. Um, I guess I'll go down and get that item over there. No reason not to. It's not at all an important item, though. What? Twinkling Titanite and Fragrant Branch of your Okay, so apparently it is an important item. My understanding was that that item particularly was... Whoa. Is that a bug in there? Like, bug is in glitch. Yeah, that pillar doesn't continue all the way to the floor. It just stops at a certain point. Okay, so that's totally not an area I should be able to go into. Yeah, but in the, in the first version of this game, I'm pretty sure that that was actually just... Visions of awe like a dream. Maybe it used to have awe on it. For some reason, I am almost entirely certain that that used to be uh, a useless item. So I'll just homeward bone out of here. There's no reason for me to be here. Uh, I hope I didn't rest at that bonfire that I just turned on. Well, looks like I did. Place unbeknownst. So you'll note that ticks off our last chapter. Chapter. Sorry. Our last um, bonfire in this area. So Shaded Woods is next, but I should probably actually go to the far fire and level up before I do anything else. And then there's another place I want to go first. God damn, there's so many things that I want to do before I actually do anything else. Okay, uh, King's Ring is not going to be important right now. So what is it that I... Oh, looks like I took off the Ring of Blades plus one for the King's Ring. Cool. Okay. King's Ring, not important right now. Uh, I'm here to level, so we'll pop all of the souls that we want. We've got, like, Soul of Great Hero and three souls of heroes. So we've got a lot of very important souls. 
Also got this black soul here from Velstart. Interesting. We're going to encounter a lot more of those as we continue through the game. Okay. Now, talk to me. Okay, Estus Flask is at maximum strength, except for the sublime bone dust that I don't have. Uh, that needs to stay at that. Attunement... See, attunement will not only increase my cast speed and the amount of slots that I have for, you know, spells, but it will also increase the amount of each of those spells that I get. So I'm very interested in doing that. I like that adaptability is at 25. Like, moving it further up, it, 5 points gets me 3 points of agility and no points of poise. So that's not worth it at all to me. I think endurance might also be a good idea. Actually, I think endurance is a really good idea. That's not only bo uh, boosting my poise, but I'm getting 10 more stamina and 10 more HP. Like, it's two points of stamina every single time I'm upping that. Yeah. Okay, that looks pretty damn good to me. Rest of the bonfire, travel to... Where can I find Man Scorpion Talk? Man Scorpion Talk. He's over here at the Shaded Ruins. So, I went back to him in order to get a ring from him after I killed... Scorpion S. Nashka? No, not Scorpion S. Nashka. Scor Scorpion S. Scorpion S. We'll just call her the Scorpion S because I've forgotten her actual name. And he didn't give it to me and I was like, hang on, what? I was supposed to get a ring from him. Oh no, I don't want to kill him to get the ring. You know, do you remember this dialogue? Um, I found out what I did wrong. You actually go back to him after killing both the lady that he loved, who I just straight up cannot remember the name of at all. But you also need to have killed Dear Dukes Freya. Dukes Dear Freya. Double D Freya. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Oh, right. Ring of Whispers. What skill? You've defeated my master. But I'm um, brave human. You have yet to face your greatest perils. Take these. May joy await you at the end of your travels. Unfortunately, I accidentally skipped one of those. Second Dragon Ring and the Black Scorpion Stinger. I have no gods to pray to, but still I pray that He's already given us that dialogue previously. Okay, so let's take a look at this second dragon ring. So what I'm currently using is the Royal Soldier's Ring plus one, which is increasing my uh, weight capacity. Hang on, I guess I have to take that off before I can see exactly how much it's increasing my weight capacity. Uh, it increases my capacity by... It looks like 7.8. This increases our capacity only by... 5.2. However, it also gives us an increase in sta uh, stamina and HP, right? So what we're looking for is the first and the second and the third dragon ring. Although, you can't equip them all at the same time. As far as I'm aware, the first dragon ring is just the same as the second and third, but it's like the zero version. Kind of like how Royal Soldier Ring and then Royal Soldier Ring plus one. So imagine first dragon ring and then second dragon ring is kind of just first dragon ring plus one. Um, so as soon as I get the third dragon ring, this should be viable because if I put my... Ring of Blades back on, I should actually be over-encumbered, right? Yeah, I'm over-encumbered for the fast roll. Which is not okay. So instead, I'll go back to the Royal Soldier's Ring plus one. Just for the moment. And then... Hmm... Then, then, then... I mean, then all I really wanted... Ooh, hang on. That was almost stupid. I forgot that these guys have infinite poise and I can't just stagger fuck them. Okay. There is a body out here that I refuse to unpetrify. Excellent. Seeing as I've got three branch, uh, fragrant branches of yore, I may as well do this now. Ooh, I was trying to roll away just in case. Triclops snake troches. Excellent. Was someone trying to ambush me from behind? Okay. 
Oh, it's a cyan knight. Interesting. There used to be a basilisk here in the first version. I love that backstab animation so much. Pick up item. Twilight Urban um, Soul of a Brave Warrior. I'm not particularly glad that I've used quite something ahead. Okay. I'm not particularly glad that I've used a Fragrant Branch of Yore to get here so far, because those are pretty good. Sublime Bone. Okay. Yep. No, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty fucking pleased that I came here now. So that's going to increase my Estus a little more. Okay. Be wary of up and then bog. Ha 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 ha! Nice! Very nice. Um, let's just equip my... Da, 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 where are you? Lightning bow for a moment. Okay. Anything? Bug above. No, no, no. The item. Twilight Herb. Okay, so... I'm not getting particularly good things from them, but it looks like they're scattered all around the world and they've got kind of cool stuff on them. So, you know, I'm pretty pleased about that. That's a nice little design element there. Uh, let's get across here. Eee! Excellent. Ooh. I just thought this was a nice way back to the bonfire. I forgot that there was an item in here. Black Knight Halberd. Nice. Try jumping. Danger zone ahead. I went to the danger zone. Baby, highway to the danger zone. All right, sit down. Sit down. Shut up, Ryan. Okay, I get it. Don't worry, guys. Um, there's a few other things that I want to do before I continue. So let's go to the salt fight. Uh, salt, salt fight. Yeah, good work, Ryan. The salt fort. Because I think it's probably a really good idea if I actually do this right now. And by do this. I mean, just stab that guy and then go back. No, of course, I actually mean a few more things. Uh, particularly what I mean is that I bonfired this area a very long time ago so that I could kill the Lost Sinner again. However, I didn't do it. Now I've got to do it. Now is my time to do that. And the reason now is my time to do that is because we are about to go to an area where I need Luca Teal's story to have advanced so that I can get something from her. However, I'm pretty certain that I've only had her kill one boss for me so far. Because I don't think she survived through the smelter fight. So I need her to kill another boss and... Well, just so happens that she's the summonable NPC for the Lost Sinner fight. She might have even died in the Lost Sinner fight. Hmm. I'm, I might as well do this. Like, there's no reason for me not to do this. I'll get some extra souls. It'll be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, get shit on. He fell so hard that his head actually implanted itself into the planks. It's beautiful. It's downright gorgeous. And he's presenting. It's excellent. Where can I find- Oh, there you are. Come on, Lucatil. Um... Do I not have... Any fire butterflies left? Flame butterflies? Oh shit! I actually don't have any flame butterflies left. That's a little bit tragic. Okay, Lucatil. We got some business to take care of. So there is a lot of enemies here. Lucatiel is going to try her best, but I am going to need to support her here. Hang on. Great fireball. Oh my god, Lucatiel! The fucking best around! Unfortunately, since these guys are submersed in water, they actually have, like, incredible flame resistance. And yeah, that's how that works. If you are submersed in water, you have way, like, 100 plus flame resistance. Oh my god. My controller chose the worst time of all to DC here. Let's just run into the wall while Lucatiel dies. That's a very good idea for me. Oh, okay. It's detected that my controller is no longer giving an input. 
And now I'm in control of my character again. Oh, baby. How am I going to heal Luca Teal after all of this? Like, the idea here is that we're doing this so that Luca Teal can help me kill the Lost Sinner. But if she's dead, like she is... Oh my god. Please, fuck off forever. I feel like I should have killed those folks before I summoned Luca Teal. Because now I need to leave and come back before I can get Luca Teal. By which I mean I need to rest at a bonfire and then reset everything. Hmm. What about... I mean, like, if they're submersed in water, they have much lower uh, lightning resistance. I'm so... so picky right now. How about I travel to this is this is just gonna fucking seem like needlessly complicated, uh, but how about I travel to the shaded woods? I go to what's his name? What's his name? You know the the head guy, the guy what with the head. I travel to him, and I get him to sell me gold pine resin so that I can buff my weapon with. Lightning, and then I kill everything. Stab it in the mouth, and it goes. Ooh. Oh, what? Am I not going the correct way? I think I am going the correct way. I am not going the correct way. That that is off of the map. Okay, interesting. Well, I've made mistakes, and now I am just needlessly, aimlessly wandering. Someone trying to kill me. Saw the arrow, didn't see the fire. Huh? Oh, looks like we've found our area. Hello, buddy. Back again. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. Okay, let's go talk to him now. Back again, pleasant surprise. Uh, Red Rust Sword, which is his sword, incidentally. Red Rust Scimitar, Red Rust Shield. We've also got the Red Iron Twin Blade already, so we've kind of, like, the whole set of that is around. Um, cool, Gold Pine Resins. Let's get ten. Farewell. Cool, cool. May we meet again one day soon. Um, I'm a lazy, lazy man, so I'm just gonna Homeward Bone out of here. Because I keep picking up all of these Homeward Bones, and I never use them, except for all of the times that I use them. So... Ooh, Alva Armor! I want that as well, but I also want the Dark Armor. I've got so many different armors that I want to be wearing. Okay, let's go to the Salt Fort, so we can get salty. Get salto! Isn't that the... Battle Cry? Like, enter the battlefields? Sound of, uh... What's his name? The Salty Dog? I think it is. That's a Hearthstone reference for anyone that is unfamiliar, unfortunately. Uh, okay. I'm gonna actually toggle this. Because these guys actually don't pose a huge threat. But I do want to have a light down at the bottom of the salt fort. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, buddy, cool it, cool it, cool it, thank you, finally got him to cool it, okay, there should only be two enemies left in here, yes, I managed to cheat out the twin blade attack there, excellent, Pick up a Radiant Life Gem, don't mind if I do. Pop an Estus Flask plus four. And I should probably get 
all of the stuff that I want equipped. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's buff my weapon. Not going to summon Luca Teal until I have already murdered the men out here. I needed to start the backstab animation. No, and I'm dead. Yeah, I just got snagged straight up. Damn it. I was trying to very, very quickly get into the backstab animation behind a big demon, because you can backstab them. Um, and when you're obviously in a backstab animation, you are immune to the attacks of anyone else. So I figured that was probably going to be my best opportunity. Oh, well. Um, I can re-become human when I get down there. And this time I'm not going to have to carry fire down. Damn it. Oh, I got fucking... Yeah, I got a headshot. You can see the arrow in my head, which staggered me for much longer than you usually get staggered, so I couldn't just roll away. I was trying to do that much, much quicker. Uh, 20k souls. It's not that much. Don't worry. Didn't really lose that many souls. It's almost a negligible amount, to be completely honest with you. No! Okay. One Estus Flask. Oh, wow. That did a lot more damage. That person came down from above. Interesting. Okay, fine. Let's take it slow. I keep trying to go quickly. Even that time when I was saying, yo, going quickly will kill you, don't go quickly, I was going relatively quickly. Should I have plunging attack from here? Should I be the baller? The baller and the shot caller? Whoa! There's an item up there that I. Oh, wait, no, of course it would have respawned after I uh, set it to the area. Nope, this isn't going to help. Best plunging attack of all time. Don't try and do it quick, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do what Donnie Don't did. Assume, of course, for the sake of argument, that my name is Donnie Don't. <laughs> oh, dear God. Dear Lord. Maybe I should try and go through this area with pyromancy? I don't know. So it's very evident to me that they've made it so that New Game Plus is actually harder than New Game. Whereas previously, it really wasn't that different. Wait, the difference was negligible at best. Broke my stamina. All right, now I understand why that would have hit me so hard. Oh, it was a counter hit because I was hitting the other people at the same time. That makes sense. Oh, and of course I have no armor. Like, I'm wearing a leg set, sure, but that's not really that much. The chest piece is where it's at. <clears throat> Launching attack! Oh no! Trying to do the stab move me forward. Is this episode all going to be me fucking up, going down to the bottom of the salt fort? I managed to. I managed to. <laughs> Words are apparently difficult. I managed to succeed the first time I tried to do it. Now it's just too difficult for me, evidently. Just wasted a human effigy as well. Should have waited until I got down. And knew that I was going to be there, safe. What the fuck? They're so good! They're so good at their job! 
this is this is almost embarrassing. By which I mean it's very literally definitely embarrassing, yeah. <sighs> Alright. Okay, maybe I should just be trying to parry them instead. Hang on. Okay, I'm gonna go with a no on the parry. They do more than half of my health with a single hit. Like, they don't look like enemies that are particularly annoying. But evidently, at least in New Game Plus, they are actually a threat. And I think that's what I'm constantly getting caught by. I'm underestimating them because I'm used to, oh yeah, these guys are an absolute joke in New Game. Or a joke without a punchline. Down. If that guy headshot me, I probably would have staggered off of here and died. That would not have been fun. If those guys fall down here, they should die just by the fall damage. Okay. How about I try it like this? Um, just sorting things out, don't worry. Okay. Hopefully I've leashed this guy and not- Nope, I totally managed to leash that guy up there. Oh well. Hopefully that guy can't actually get up here. Whoa, lightning urn does nothing. Okay, this guy can get up here. However, he has an attack that will actually make him roll into the pit and die. Oh my god, both of them are up here. This is not okay. That almost made him roll in, but at least I got a backstab. Oh, no, no, no. No, I was trying to go for a heal. No. I was trying to go for a heal, but I obviously had uh, Gold Pine Resin immediately selected instead. <sighs> Salt Fort, so salty. It's named correctly, at least. All right, I'm going to sit at this bonfire and say that my name has been Rhapsody. It's been 28 minutes, so I'm going to have to start doing this again next episode in Dark Souls 2, Scroll of the First Sin. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description below with all of my content on Salt Fault 2. Specifically, sorry, on Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, and on uh, Dark Souls 1, Past, Present, and Future. And hopefully, we'll see you next time.